Hey guys, Sean Bucci, SurplusFundsRiches.net. Today we're gonna to talk about foreclosure deeds, and that would be the deed, that's what we term it, the deed that gives ownership from the last owner that's foreclosed upon to the owner that bought it at the auction, and why it's so important to have that. And we've had people in the past say, hey, you know, one of your requirements is to also, besides providing the deed showing the previous owner's ownership of the property when they got it, you also want, and we want that guys, we want that deed because we wanna know when they got it so we know what debt applies to the property. Pretty straightforward, because you've gotta research debt. One hour training on, there's a one hour training guys, on the site, surplusfundsriches.net. Big as, you can, as it can get, free training, click here. Hour long video training, there's also a guide you can pick up on there written, it goes into this. But the foreclosure deed is the deed that transfers it from the auction to the buyer, the person that bought it at the auction. And sometimes there's a delay between the auction date and when that new deed is recorded. And people have said to us, hey, why? Why do we have to, we know it foreclosed and we know that it transferred. Why do we, why do you care? Why do we have to have that deed? Well, the simple answer is no, we don't know it foreclosed. If we use the uh, panning for hidden surplus funds program. We're using estimates on mortgage foreclosures, mortgage overages in about 20 states where you can estimate the overage. You've got to have a couple of techniques down cold um, and we go into that with that particular program that's available in the diamond bundle. But in order to do that, you really need to have the foreclosure deed. If you don't have that, you don't know if it foreclosed. And let me give you a couple examples of what can happen. It's not rare that a foreclosure is canceled. It's not rare, okay? There is a serviceman statute in a lot of states where if you are ex-military, you can get a break and you can get foreclosures pushed back while you try to figure your stuff out. That's one of it. It's a certain statute, most states have it. It's designed to protect uh, ex-military. I'm glad they have it. Another thing they have, another thing that you gotta look for though, is people will, at the last minute, say, I'm going into bank, they'll actually open a bankruptcy case for themselves, uh, usually use an attorney to do that. And they'll say, I'm going into bankruptcy, please stop, because we have to determine that this is a, a, my my homestead, my where I'm living, so we need to stop this foreclosure and figure this out. And the counties, it's actually, it's a BS move, okay? Most of the time, the guys that are doing that are just trying to put off the foreclosure another three to six months. But it works. So that means that foreclosure did not happen. Foreclosures can get vacated. The mortgage company can say, you know what, we're gonna, we're decided to work with these people at the last minute and maybe the foreclosure date passed, but they've decided to vacate uh, that foreclosure. They say, no, 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 it never happened, okay? Bunch of things that can happen. Also, the high bidder can not have the money. The high bidder cannot have the money and they have to put the thing back up for sale. That's a big deal, guys. You need to understand, you've got to have the foreclosure deed transferring ownership from the ex-owner, the person foreclosed upon, to the new buyer, or you don't know if it foreclosed. That's why we always ask for the foreclosure deed. Make sure you get that. Thanks, guys.